holding point Alpha 2 for runway 26 left at Gatwick, just waiting for the cabin to call ready. Whilst we wait, let's review the takeoff profile. When we're cleared to line up, we'll perform the below the line actions and taxi onto the runway before coming to a stop. Once cleared for takeoff, push the stick forward slightly and set 50% N1 on the engines. This gives us an opportunity to check that both engines spool up evenly. Once the engines are both stable at 50%, set the levers into the flex detent, keeping your hands on the levers in case we have to stop quickly. Keep the nose down pressure on the stick until 80 knots, then smoothly set the stick to neutral. When I call V1, take your hand off the thrust levers, we can't stop anymore. Next I'll call Rotate. You need to smoothly raise the nose to 15 degrees. Once we're off the ground, we'll raise the gear and we're on our way. I'll talk you through each step as we go. That's it, the cabin crew are happy that everyone sat down and we're ready for takeoff. Let's call ATC. Jetliner 488 ready for departure. Jetliner 488, line up and wait, runway 26 left. Line up and wait, 26 left, Jetliner 488. Runway looks clear, approach looks clear. Line up on the runway centre line and come to a stop. As we enter the runway, turn on the landing lights and we'll finish the before takeoff checklist below the line. Below the line. Cabin secured for takeoff. Engine mode selector normal. TCAS TARA. Packs on. Anti ice off. Below the line complete, line up only, runway 26 left from Alpha 2. stop here. Jetliner 488 cleared for takeoff, runway 26 left, wind 270 at 8. Clear for takeoff, runway 26 left, jetliner 488. Great, we're cleared for takeoff. Apply some nose down pressure on the stick and set 50% N1. Engines look good. Move the thrust levers forwards to the flex detent. Thrust is set. Now release the nose down pressure on the stick. One hundred knots. V1. Rotate. Smoothly raise the nose to 15 degrees. Pitch up to 15 degrees. Good, now hold the nose there. Positive climb, gear up. Engage autopilot one. Now reduce thrust to the climb detent. Now that we're above S speed, retract the flaps. 
disarm spoilers and taxi lap. Retract the flaps or we'll have an overspeed. Disarm spoilers and taxi light off. In Alt Star mode, the autopilot will capture our selected altitude of 5,000 feet. The landing lights add a small amount of drag and vibration, so let's turn them off now that we're in the air and it's daytime. Release the crew by turning the seatbelt sign off and then back on again. Great, we're on our way now and the crew are starting their routine. Next, we'll look at using the automation systems and cover the techniques used during the climb. 